Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. With the news that Mary Foote is leaving the role of Chief Executive, the bookies are already placing odds on who will replace him, and there are some big names. They are the likes of Joanna Cherry, for example, who left politics and gone back into the law. Uh, Ian Blackford, a man who likes to be high profile and paid a lot of money to do very little work. Ideal for him, one would have thought. Uh, there are someone like Alan Smith, perhaps, another one. Very fond of, well, lazing around and reflecting glory kind of thing. I would suggest that none of these people will do this job. I would suggest that no one is going to want to do the job. They're going to cast around for someone and it will be a complete non-entity. Someone doing it for a paper exercise, perhaps. Some low-level staffer stepping up to fill a role that needs to be filled. Because I think something is coming down the line and the SNP could be in big trouble. Now, I'm going to credit where it's due. Earlier today, I suggested it could be something to do with Operation Copa. However, one of my very good and obviously very wise viewers suggested it may be something to do with the alleged funding of terrorism by Hamza Yousaf. That could be a major investigation resulting in some very, very serious charges and some serious jail time. And maybe that is why Murray Foote is leaving so very, very quickly. And it indeed is a possibility. So well done, that man. Credit where it's due. Not my original thought. Uh, I'm not one to steal reflected glory. You know, if someone else comes up with a good idea, all credit. But yes, whatever it is, be it one thing or the other or something that we haven't foreseen yet, something is coming. And the big the big boys there, the likes, like I say, of uh, Blackfoot or Cherry or whatever, Alan Smith, they are not going to want to touch this thing with a barge pole. Who would willingly take on the role? It's, um, it's going to be a hard role to fill. They're going to take their time. They're going to pretend that they're looking for the right person, but they're not. They're looking for anyone. Be interesting to see who does step up and take it on. See how long they last. And then watch their face crumble as the plod knocks on their door and says, we'd like to talk to you about the funding of terrorism or whatever it is. Let me know who you think would make a good leader. Let me know who you think would make a, a terrible leader. Whoever it is, it's got to be someone with a bit of brains because you can't be a CEO and be an idiot. But you need that, that, magic, that magic ground of clever enough to do it not clever enough to realise it's a poison chalice. Anyway, till next time, stay safe, stay well, speak to you later. Bye.